Well, good day, Tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. Got Dilly out in the mower. I can't hear him. Anyways, uh, just give her. <laughs> Anyways, uh, um, I had extra parts coming for this brake system on the two end here, and uh, Steiner. Holy cow! Focus there, bud. <laughs> um, Steiner had sent it out and then uh, good old UPS was trying to mess with me again and uh, it was supposed to be here like on the Friday and today is a Saturday and then they had we'll say reorganized the shipping uh, estimate time from till Monday so I'm like holy crap really Monday that's not good so I uh, didn't like that too much but anyways Eating dinner tonight, look out, there's a UPS van in front of the house. I'm like, well, okay, I guess he's here, and this is a Saturday. I guess they're delivering on Saturdays to try to keep up, so. Uh, anyways, we got her. Another parts, more parts from Steiner. So we're going to open it up. This should be brake parts, and, well, I can't remember what I ordered now. Let's get in her. Okay, yeah, this should be brake parts. Um, boy, they like their staples. One, two, three, four, five staples in there. I mean, I like staples too, but get that nice reinforced tape and we should be all good there, bud. So, yeah, hopefully for a while this is going to be all the tractor parts we need. Um, well, you know, until I find the next problems. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm going to have to really pull these out of here again. I thought they were just kidding. Nope. Ugh. I thought they were just kidding. So I don't know why the, uh, the last shipment I got from Steiner took like two freaking weeks to get here. It was absolutely horrendous waiting for it. And that was the... Uh, those bars and everything, they when they came. I don't know why, and it was expensive shipping too. Was, oh my gosh, there's another one. It was really expensive shipping, I thought. Get out of there. Okay, let's see. This thing looks like pretty heavy. Can you guys see in there all right? Yeah, you're not too bad, are you? Oh, we got a bunch of craft paper. That's cool. And some more of this foamy stuff. Oh wow, this is really packed in here now. Wow, that's kind of a cool little system. Speaking of foam, I'm soon going to get my foam kit for here, I hope. We went to Home Depot today. Let me just draw you a little something here. This is... This is the Home Depot building, all right? And out here they have... like their contract or whatever you call it. Loading. You can see that, right? Sort of, sort of, sort of, kind of see that. So this is their load area, and there's the big uh, swing open doors that open there. Okay, so they were letting people in here, six foot apart. Now this building's freaking long, so they had people. And then out here. So there was probably about 100 people or so in line, six feet apart. I'm not waiting in that long lineup. <laughs> Woo! So anyways, back to this. There's our sure seals. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure those are the sure seals. Oh, aren't those nice? Oh, yeah. They're nice. And, oh, they're not like... Your standard sort of seal with the, the spring in behind it. That's interesting. Double seal, too. There's one there and then one there, I guess. So that's good. So I only need one of those right now because I'm not doing the other side. Holy cow, I've got enough worms of a can opened up right now. Oh, that's the heavy part. Okay, this should be our brakes. And I didn't get the hardware, I just got the, uh, the new shoes. So I'm hoping to maybe rebuild this 
axle system, brake system today. Oh, aren't those nice? Big fellers, aren't they? Lots of braking surface there. Yeah, you know what? Those other ones, I got them down in my other garage. I don't really want to touch them. I presume they're probably asbestos, but these ones do have quite a bit more meat on them. The other ones were down, you know, to about there somewhere. So these have lost. But the other ones have lost quite a bit of meat. Okay. Put those up there because we're going to need those. We're going to need that seal. And uh, there's all our hardware stuff. Oh, it's hot in here tonight. Once I get our spray foam, it should be a little bit more nicer. All right, so we got some room here, I think. Some of this we might have to do on the floor, but I got to go get the uh, the big brake drum and uh, all that axle and stuff. I got it uh, cleaned up pretty good there, so I got to run down and get it. All right, does not look a little bit cleaner. Oh boy. Now I made a new gasket for it. I did kind of find out what the different gaskets mean. So what they do, and keep in mind this side, on the other side there's another one that goes in there. What those gaskets do is they separate these so they don't touch so much. If they're touching, the, the tires will both spin the same way. So that's not a good thing and it kind of looks to me like these have maybe spun together a little bit. That's not really a good thing. You want that separate so one will go one way one will go the other way, right? So, um, But anyways, that's what those gaskets are for and uh, I just made a new paper one here. It's kind of stuck on real good. Um, I probably won't. Uh, I would like to get some of that goop underneath it but we'll just go with that I guess. Um, hopefully it doesn't leak. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't, but um, all the fluid will be in, the, in this axle and to that seal and then nowhere else, right? Because yeah, it'll be all sealed here. So I probably should goop that side maybe with the, with the silicone stuff, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. But that was a lot of cleaning. My fluid is uh, really bad down there now in my uh, parts cleaner, so got to change that sometime. And uh, yeah, so we got to get uh, some grease and grease that bearing real good. Now these guys, I'm going to show you something what they were doing. I don't think it's kind of right, but let's get this guy up on the bench here. So the videos I saw these guys doing this, they were, uh, I think, putting way too much grease in. I mean, maybe there's not a, such a thing. To me though, it seemed like it was way too much grease. I gotta get this surface clean nice here again um, they were so it, <laughs> I guess maybe because they saw the uh, height of that seal let's grab one here and they're like oh well, we'll just fill it to the shape of the inside of that well I don't think that's right that's probably way too much grease we don't want to jam that down there too much yet but that looks like it's gonna be pretty good I don't want to try to clean that, maybe a little more too if I can. Just so it doesn't tear, tear anything when I'm putting that thing on. It's not too dirty, but it's pretty rough there. But we'll have to grease all that up anyways and stuff. So, But yeah, there's my new uh, gasket. And... Uh, it's a tight fit, I will say. It, uh, it, I mean, it's on there. It took a while to make this thing, so I really don't want to rip it. But I really wouldn't mind getting some stuff underneath it. If I can get her up to there, maybe that would be all right. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad under there. It's a little rough. Let's see if we can get this thing right off, maybe. But that's the new gasket anyways. That come out pretty nice, I think. So that probably should have some cleaning there too. I guess I just didn't really get into the, the deep cleaning part. It'd be nice to get those uh, studs right out of there too, but let me work at that for a minute. Let's see if I can get that a little surface a little better. Okay, that surface there isn't super too bad now. Fairly clean, 
fairly clean. It's hard to get in behind all these studs, but she's she'll be she'll be good. She's not a spaceship. I hope anyways. The awesome boat was. I like spaceships. <laughs> so um what we got here is some of this high flex form in place. Oh, too close. Gasket making stuff. Good stuff. Kind of expensive though, but uh, you don't need much of this stuff. And this will kind of seal things all up real nice. Should anyways. So I'll get her open here. And uh, I guess we got to cut the tip off her here. Freshness seal. Sweet. Put the little tip thing on them. Oh, it's hot in here today. Okay, that should be enough. We'll just get in here and, and once we put some bolts to her and pressure her down, she'll find her center to we'll say too, right? Get on her, bud. And this stuff's good too because it's a use right away kind of thing. You don't have to let it set. And it actually won't dry or harden to a silicone-y kind of stuff until it's in the absence of air. It's got the worst of her, I guess. Now, let's see if we can get this gasket back on here without tearing it. Because this stuff is kind of thin. Oh, we just tore it. Of course we did. But, it should be alright still, I think. It's good. I'm not making another one now. <laughs> it was a lot of work to make that one. But I tore it. Probably put some sealer on the other side. And that'll seal that back up. That's no big deal. Okay, good to go there. All right. So um, this feller we can probably push off. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this seal right yet because I got to find. And I think they were using a 3 inch ABS pipe to put on there to tap it down on. It's quite a piece of pipe. I might have to use my potato gun. I don't know. Alright, so what we want to do before we put that seal in is pack that bearing full of grease. And these things all moved all over. <laughs> I've got a couple of grease. Grease, different fitting thingies here. And I think the needle one would be good to start with to get her down into the burling, the burlings. So, uh, okay, I'll just put it right on there. And uh, I don't know how well I can get you in here. I can maybe pull this thing out a little bit. It's heavy. We'll try to get you uh, over top here a bit more if I can. All right, that's about the best I can get you there. So this thing will be uh, pretty nice because it'll be able to get right down. Come on, baby. Let's put a brand new tube in so it's got a couple air bubbles in her. 
So chances are if you pour too much grease, like what these guys were doing on their videos was just packing this like right huge full of grease wall. Yes, that's good and no, that's not good because sometimes like they say too much or something is a bad thing. <laughs> So, I'm going to put some in here, but I'm not going to cake it on. Kind of like what they did. What oh, was it? Too much of something good is a bad thing? Okay, so that's good to start. And then I want to... See if I can just jam down some more. That's pretty good there. Ugh, it's getting it all over me. Where is that coming out of? It's getting all over me. Great. You should have gloves on. Alright, so I can't really get her down in there a whole lot more. So now we'll just kind of fill up this cavity a bit. You also got to leave some room for your seal to mount down in there, right? These fellers, they basically had her. It's funny colored stuff. They basically had her like heaped halfway up the the shaft here, I'm like, I think that's a little bit too much. I'm just gonna cover this collar, I think, here. That should be good. Like I say, we're not plowing or farming this thing to the moon. I think that should be golden. Okay, now the fun part begins. We're gonna take a bit of this and Smear it all around on here. And we're going to do the seal here too. Now we'll put the seal down. Get her started now. The trouble with this thing is, you really should, I think, have this thing pulled up so it goes on nice and straight because this thing could go kind of whatever it wants to, right? It'd be really hard on that ceiling surface. So, I should probably try to get boy, I don't know how I'd get anything under there, but I'm gonna see if I can just get this steel to start and uh. should still move I guess once I do get her seated in here should anyways okay as far as I want to go with that I think I want to use my potato gun here funny enough as it is to drive this thing in here um, but I'm gonna have to put this thing on the floor I think because I don't think I can reach that high so let me get you repositioned and uh, see if we can drive this guy home Okay, so funny enough, yes, I am going to use my potato gun because it's long enough. And uh, I put on a coupler because it actually seemed to fit that seal better. 
than just the uh, the ABS on its own here. So I uh, kind of looks neat like that. It looks like a bit of a silencer or something, but that should fit pretty good if I can keep her kind of centered. And uh, hopefully I can just kind of smack it from the top here. drive that feller home. I'm going to take this off. And uh, I'm going to need a small block of wood. i got some 2x4s here. And I'm going to put that on the top. And then uh, I'm going to try to get you down to the seal end. So I'm going to tap up here and uh, get you down to the seal end here. Okay, I think you're probably going to feel a little bit of this vibration a little bit when I uh, start going here. Um, so because you're on the floor, I'm losing wood bits already. Okay, it's going to be hard for me to see what's kind of going on down there. Hopefully she'll drive in somewhat straightish. Somewhat straightish. hammering the thing in right now. Hmm. I'm liking that kind of so far yet. Let me see if I can maybe persuade it a little bit more here. Uh, a bugger trying to get that back out again. <laughs> I'm gonna hit her flush. And I like her. It's looking good. Sure is sealed. So that should flop around on there and be alright. Alright, now I'm gonna see if I can remember how these bricks go back together. Um, I guess this adjuster, I'll spray some sheet grease in here. And it was all cleaned out. So hopefully it's still working. And uh, it's kind of a weird mechanism, I have to say. But I guess it works, but it seemed weird. It seemed weird. Um, okay, so we don't need the wheel bolts yet. We need a uh, hardware kit. And like I said, I'm going to use all these springs over. Um, now, I know I've got one adjuster. Uh oh, I need four of them. These little spring thingy dewy things. Uh oh. I think I got them all in here. Okay, so these I believe go on there. And there. Although that doesn't seem to be really lining up. Oops. Oh, geez, now she's falling apart. See if we can get this thing back together here. 
And I think both of these shoes are the same. I don't think it matters. No, they should be both the same. It shouldn't matter which one goes where. Okay, that will matter though to where this pedal is. So that should be well, that should be this way. I believe. Yeah. I think. <laughs> that will matter where the pedal is. So if I can get these guys on here. Holy jump in. 42 hands. Okay, I don't remember those being that short before. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I got it wrong, that's why. I think I got it wrong. Yeah, I had it wrong. It doesn't really seem to be lining up too well. In the spring, in the spring clip, and then you gotta get her. Lined up. Okay, something isn't quite lining up right here. I'm not sure what. Could be where the pedal's located. Oh, everything's tight there. Strange. I think I just want to try to get these clips on here if I can, but something is just not quite lining up right. What are we missing? That adjuster is right out now, so it should be at its lowest. So there shouldn't be any tension. I can't get enough leverage here with my, uh, my left hand, maybe. Okay, give me a second. I'll see if I can get this all snapped back together. It's going to take me a moment. Okay, I think it's going a little better. It was easier to get these uh, the big spring on there, and it kind of sort of held stuff for me. Oh, you stay there, you dink. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, still a bit of a challenge. These things do kind of go. Ah, if I could get enough push. I do actually have one of these brake tools, but I couldn't seem to locate it for pushing these things. But if everything lines up, you should be able to do it by hand. That's a big if, though. Big F. Of course, the other one went perfect. There we go. I think we got her. So that's those ones, and then we've got um, these springs too, and I just can't remember 100% which way they went, but I think something like that. And then, I don't uh, I guess that's the right spring. It seems like it's kind of small for that one, but that's the tough one to get on to there. So we will need some sort of an aid, I am thinking. But we'll get this. 
this guy started, and then he gets one of these little backers. Try to turn, I can't turn that vise anymore for you. Which is around the front here, maybe a little better. And then the spring state, and then the retainer clip, the fun part. I think we got that one. Doesn't kind of look like it's sitting right to me. The adjuster, I don't know, I'm not 100% liking that adjuster. Something seems fishy to me with it, but I can't think of what. Oh, almost had her. Oh, darn it. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, I think we got her. Yeah, I don't know. Something, something's looking fishy, but maybe that'll change once I can get this big mother spring on here now. How am I going to do that? That's a pretty, uh, hefty mother of a spring there. And you know what? I took a picture of this assembly. Just before tore it apart. Hello, hello, hello there. And if I can find the picture. Okay, so both of these springs went underneath. Okay, so that's not right there. And both of the short ends were right, so that's gotta go that way. Oh. It might be easier to hook it on here and then fish this longer end in. I don't know. No, that's not going to work. don't think it's going to matter which way these go, but that's the way it was before this big one was hooked into, into here, and I don't know if I can even get this thing on here. Holy jumping, that's going to be a fight. I'm sure I can get it the other way, but... I really don't want to take these things off just to get a bit of slack here to get this thing in here. But I think I'm going to have to go... Boy, oh boy. Darn springs. I think I'm going to have to try to go that way, but... Um, maybe there's a better way I can do that with a prying tool. See, you got to somehow get thing right under there and that's well of course you're gonna slide on there aren't you I'm putting pressure to her and it's wanting to move on me if I can get her this way that would be a heck of a lot easier and I don't know if I can get enough grip to her nope I don't think so Okay, the only other thing I can think is 
screwdriver kind of thing. Boing! Get on there. And that one's on. Okay. I think we're good. But something still doesn't look kind of right. I don't know what it is. We got um. Yeah, we got movement there. That's good. It's just this one here. It just doesn't look right. It's definitely pulling weird or something. But this one's lined up. But that one's way, way, way off. really weird. I want it to be good, you know, I don't want them to... That's actually... Something doesn't seem right. Let me fiddle with it here. Well, I'm not sure because everything looks like it's lined up here. And that's the actual, you know, pedal pusher thing rocker thingy, I'm going to call it. Um, this is on the right spot. This one looks good here. This one has a heck of an angle going on there, and I don't know why. But everything seems to line up good, and it adjusts. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know why it's so weird. It's out there a little bit. But uh, I'm going to try to fit it onto here and see what happens. Try and fit her. This thing is heavy. <laughs> Seems kind of big. that though but I think that's home now I just noticed I'm gonna have to probably make another gasket of course for this side because that's where the actual actual housing mounts to this side here so I'm gonna have to make another gasket by the looks of things That's okay, I can do that, so I just don't think that's going to get back on today, though, unfortunately. I guess that seems all right. It seemed to kind of go in there pretty good. Felt gasket there's a little bit pinched. So I'm going to have to make another gasket, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to get to that today, but uh, well, we got her mostly back together. Get that gasket made and then uh, I'll probably not seal the other side of this other gasket, I'll just leave it dry and then I'll uh, probably going to make another gasket for this side I guess, yeah. Okay, well, there we go. We got her mostly back together, so that's pretty good. But anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully, whenever I get this new gasket made, we can actually get this thing back together. And it uh, should be all good. And uh, then we can fill it back up, too, with the hydraulic fluid. Need to do that, too. Put the plugs back in, too. you got to put them in first before you start filling her up. That makes sense. But anyways, catch you all later. Thanks again for watching, and you guys have a good day.